So let's fucking let's move on a bit more of a positive yeah. note then. Um, what would be your best tip to anyone listening just now? Uh, to make the to make the world a better place. I I would say keep being you. Mm. Because I'm a very firm believer, right, in that the world has the people in it for a certain reason. Yeah. Now there's lovely kind people that put other people before them. There is people that are really rough but want the right things and do good, right? Now but it's to sit here, right? I know exactly what type of person you are. You know exactly what type of person I am, right? Yeah. But people need these type of people. And it makes the world go, right? It makes the world go round, right? Mm. For a reason, I'd say keep being you. Keep being the person you are. Spreading positivity. Spreading what you believe in, right? Again, within reason, obviously. Um, because... I, I, you know, like recently I've been speaking to a lot of different people about like my personality. Now, recently over the past few months, I've been becoming more and more myself. That's yep. what people used to know me back going back five, six years ago. Um, and this is me. Like you see me on my streams, you may pop into my streams every now and then before you back on yours. I'm just like this normal bubbly person that puts a smile on people's face that laughs twenty four seven. Even at the littlest things, I laugh at. Right. Yep. And when I was in high school, I used to get bullied for it. Right. Yep. Now, people love it, right? Back then, I didn't really understand it. But now, it's just like, like to make the world a better place, you need to have, you need to be happy. That's yep. it, right? My life goal in life is to be happy. That mm. is literally it. To be happy, right? I want to be successful. I want to be happy. I want to make my family happy. I want to make my friends happy, right? Yep. But more importantly, I want to make myself happy. If you can make yourself happy, right? You spread it to everybody else and around you. you honestly, I don't think people, people underestimate the, the sheer impact of positivity on people's life. Genuinely, yeah. it's so crazy monumental. Like waking up in the morning, right? And you've fully woken up, going downstairs, telling your mum and dad that you love them. Yeah. Telling your family you love them, your girlfriend. Yeah, I mean, I don't have one, but your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your cousins. My brother, my niece. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Tell me you love them every single day, right? People don't realize the sheer impact that would have on people, right? So when I always tells me, yeah, I come into your stream, yeah, you, you probably get it on an average day as well because, you, like I said, I, mean, I like to think of myself as a, an inspirational person. Yeah. Right? My background and who I am and how I speak. Yourself as well. I think you're what you are as well, right? Mm. I think you'd say so. Yeah. You probably do get the same question. How do you keep being you? How, how would you make the world a better place? This, that, and the other. And my answer would just be, keep being you, man. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I ain't gonna I, you may not, may not be it right now, right? You may not be that. Um, you may not have that impact on anybody's life right now, but trust me, like, time and well, the way life works, it works out for each other. Honestly, yeah. it really does. It genuinely does. I think as well, like... Um... Probably something that I, I don't know why I've not passed on if you've not looked into him before, but Neville Ravikant. Um, you know, like mm. Joe Rogan podcast and stuff like that. I yeah, spoke yeah, about yeah, yeah, multiple yeah. different episodes. Um, but I watch his, he's got like his wee mini podcast. I'll link it in the description be- below if anyone's curious about it. But he does little kind of, it's just audio. Uh, he puts up on YouTube. It's literally just like some of them are like five minutes, three minutes, some of them are like 30 minutes. Um, he done one on, you know, like competition, done one on happiness, like a 35 minute video on how to obtain happiness. Mm. Um, all this kind of shit. And his background was like, you know, um, like an immigrant. Uh, he's, you know, his family worked like 10 jobs between them. Um, yeah. He worked, you know, he, he, for example, he's like, um, like when he's grown up, like he tried to get a job to pay for his college uh, and he went to things like Krispy Kreme, for example, uh, and they declined mm. him. They said they can work in there, uh, and he's like, so like, look at me for example. I was an immigrant. I had the odds stacked against me. And look at the level of wealth that I obtained, and like what I obtained and stuff like that. Um, because mm. people like to, people like to, you know, in any, going to sound quite controversial. And, and the thing is, man, like the, the only way in which you can actually, it's just like the, the competition trap. The only way to break out it is to be authentic, and it's the same way in terms of like in order to make anything happen in this world. Like, you can't be absorbed by the, the external factors or the shite that hits you. Um, because, like, everyone, it's just a life's a, a roll of the dice in terms of, like, 
the external shit that happens to like our appendix bursting. Like, mm. the odds of that happening are fucking bare minimal. We had more chance of dying in that moment than we did staying alive. Exactly, yeah. And in, in terms of, like, you know, being born into, like, you know, a third world country, um, or, you know, the, the odds are truly stacked against you, but, if, you know, if you're in the UK, if you're in America, uh, if you're in any, you know, first world country where something as simple as, you know, the internet, for example, there's an abundance of opportunity out there. It's just about fixing the internal first. Uh, and I think that's what I realised, just like you were talking about there. If I've said it in multiple tweets, I've put it up on social media, i put it on my stream, I spoke about Michael Mondays. If the whole world focused on the internal instead of the external, i.e. Yeah. everyone tried to work on themselves rather than try to fix everyone else around them, the whole world mm-hmm. would be a ten times a better place, mate. It would be, it would be fucking a phenomenal... Yeah. The world's already a phenomenal place to be, but in terms of, like... If everyone just focused on them um, and focused on their personal development, and that's why I preach mm-hmm. it all the time, mate. That's why everything yeah. that I do, there's so much why behind what I'm doing. Um, mm-hmm. That if everyone just truly focused on themselves, like, and rather than try to fix other people, that's why I don't get. That's why I don't get any like beef. I don't get any arguments. Like, yeah. I, it's it's pointless, man, because you're trying to you know push an opinion. You're trying to change someone else's thought process when in reality, see the verbal programming and the conditioning in which we go through all our experiences, getting up to the age in which we are to just now. Anyone that's mm-hmm. listening, the age they are just now, you know, we're programmed to think that way, bro. And I hear it all the time, mate. For example, like Bex will turn around and say to me, you know, I can't do maths. I'm fucking terrible at maths, right? And I'm like, mm-hmm. you didn't come out the womb in it thinking I'm shit at maths. <laughs> like, just as simple as that. Like, you, you didn't. And it's the same with like managing money, you know, obtaining wealth, you know, 